trying to get a grip on an economy that is faltering at best. Outside one of Kabul's main banks, the Taliban allow in just 10 customers at a time, as hundreds more wait their turn, not very patiently. Commander Ibrahim probably didn't expect to be controlling frustrated crowds when the Taliban stormed to victory. Yes, of course we understand their problems and that's why we've brought these mujahideen here to serve them. Many customers are government employees who say they haven't been paid for months. And caught by the speed of the former government's collapse, everyone is running out of cash. The government should have handed over everything in good order instead of running away like it did. I have a, a money in a bank like uh, $4,000, but, uh, but I can't cash my money from bank. People's access to banks and to cash remains a real problem. The banks have largely remained closed. When they are open, there are strict limits on how much you can withdraw. And it all points to a much bigger fiscal problem of how Afghanistan is going to pay its way under a Taliban government. The country's central bank reserves have been frozen by the US, while World Bank and IMF funding has stopped. Just surviving is the immediate concern for many businesses. So it takes like six months. The Hussein family completed the expensive opening of a second coffee shop branch two weeks before the Taliban takeover. As I contact with the people who have restaurants, who have some individual businesses, so they're all down now. Further down the street, Taylor Hamid Rahimi doesn't know when things will improve. Because the banks are closed and people's money is stuck in the banks, there is no business. If the banks are open, then people will come. On his rack hang an increasing number of uncollected jackets and suits. They were ordered before the Taliban victory by people who no longer have the cash to pay for them, or who've left the clothes and their country behind in search of something better. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Kabul.